Jetty Harlequin star Marcus Smith is highlighter Titus Jones chopped four of his lions, the 18-year-old Harlequin, who trained with the national squad in the summer, was again named by England for next week's training camp in Oxford yesterday. While Jonathan Joseph, Kyle Sinclair, George Cruise and James Haskell were experiencing the downside of the international roller kister, Smith was rewarded for his promising start to the Premiership season. The England coach is thinking in calling up the fresh-faced playmaker who only sat his A-levels in the summer, revolves not so much around this autumn's tests, but the 2019 World Cup. I reckon now we have 80% of the squad about right, but we are looking for this factor rookie to come out. There's a place for that sort of player, and it could be someone like Marcus Smith. Who knows said Jones. It's clear that he's got talent. What we don't know is if whether he's got the desire and the work ethic and the application and the ability to keep his feet grounded. You read the newspapers now, and he's the next Johnny Wilkinson, but he hasn't done anything. He's hardly kicked a ball but he's definitely worth looking at and definitely worth bringing forward and seeing how far we can take him. Friday, September 1, 2017 Jamie Roberts Harlequins, £380,000 I reckon now we have 80% of the squad about right, but we are looking for this factor rookie to come out of England boss Eddie Jones he's got a lot to work on in his game, and what we want to do is educate him so that, in two weeks, five months or two years he's ready to play test rugby for England. He's fifth choice standoff, so he's going to be shining boots and holding bags, we're sure he'll do that well. He went to a good public school, so he's well educated to do that. Smith first came to Jones' attention as a schoolboy at Brighton College, when the Japan team he then coached were training there at the 2015 World Cup. The England UNDER 20s standoff has taken the leap into the Premiership in his stride this season and takes his place in a 33 man squad, which includes one other uncapped player in bath hooker Tom Dunn. The omission of Dunn's club made Joseph, who has played in 19 at Jones 20 matches in charge, is a surprise, but it appears to be a judiciously placed boot to the backside after a quiet start to his season. In the case of Sinclair, his exclusion is more a reminder to keep his feet on the ground after featuring off the bench in all three Lions tests in New Zealand. Jones' view is that George Cruise, who returns for Saracens against Sale today, and James Haskell, who made his first appearance of the season last weekend, would be best served remaining with their clubs as they try to get into their strides after early season injuries. Haskell, though, would be right to be concerned at the promotion above him of young thrusters Sam Underhill and Tom Curry who both excelled on the South America tour. Hask has got some work to do on his game he knows what he's got to do, and I know he's going to attend to that very seriously. The two young guys are good players and they've got something about them, said Jones. The great thing, if you look across the squad, is there's real competition for places, and no player can feel like they can just turn up, bowl his 10 overs for 30 runs and be happy. You can't do that anymore for England. You've got to be at your best, because the only way we are going to be the best team in the world is if we've got that dot England squad forwards Dan Cole Lester, Tom Curry Sale, Tom Dunbath. Charlie Ewell's Bath, Ellis Genge Lester, Jamie George Saracens, Dylan Hartley Northampton, Nathan Hughes Wasps, Nick Isiaqua Saracens, Mero Idage Saracens, Joe Launchberry Wasps, Courtney Laws Northampton, Joe Marler Harlequins, Chris Robshaw Harlequins, Sam Underhill Bath, Harry Williams Exeter, Billy Vinipola Saracens, Mako Vinipola Saracens backs Mike Brown Harlequins, Danny Kerr Harlequins, Elliot Daly Wasps, Owen Farrell Saracens, George Ford Lester, Piers Francis Northampton, Alex Lazowski Saracens, Johnny May Lester, Jack Nowell Exeter, Henry Slade Exeter, Marcus Smith Harlequins, Ben Tata Worcester, Anthony Watson Bath, Marland Yard Harlequins, Ben Youngs Lester, 